I forgot to press record uh, the first five minutes that I sat down and start to clean this uh, portion of the cover. You have seen the before, okay, uh, vid uh, video that I took of the entire back cover of this. So you can see the rest is still quite dirty. As you can see, look at that. Really dirty, okay. This part right here, I spent about five minutes cleaning it, and you can see much cleaner, right? And let me show you the new tool that I have been experiment with. I'm always look for new things to use to try, just for fun, okay? And here is the new thing. It's a a sponge like product, and I will cut and insert picture of this product so that you can see right here which I bought from Amazon for a few bucks nothing expensive I figure but for that few dollars if it doesn't work I can use it for something else but look at that see that right there see that dirt transfer that you see right at this corner right here that dark area that is from cleaning this portion of the cover right here what I like about this so far is it's fairly soft and even though it's, it's firm, it's firm enough but it is also soft enough that it's not very abrasive to damage the cover. It does not remove gloss from the cover and the best part, one, well one of the big plus is unlike eraser, you know when you use an eraser there are always residue or piece that flex off the eraser this one have no pieces that come out so there's no cleaning okay there's no brushing off any pieces of eraser or residue of the cover so let me see if i can show you the result quick one right here so let's take a look real quick of how dirty that area is okay okay and then let me see if i can set the camera down to show you how it is done camera will stay right there okay and let me show you how I use it so this is where I use so I'm gonna switch over to use this area a brand new area okay and see how it will work what the result will be so and with many things when I clean I try to do it in one direction okay one direction And as you can see, the result take more time, okay? Like I said, it took me about five minutes of doing this to the upper portion of the cover to get the desired cleaning result. So I don't expect this to be um, quick, but at least it works, okay? So that's, that's the big plus is at the end of the day, it takes a little bit longer, but at the same time, it's less abrasive, so you can use it on the entire back cover without worrying about you know the black area where the ink is. Instead of like instead of like just using the white area, you can use it. There you go, looking good. I can tell that it's getting cleaner. Just be patient. It works, okay? That's all I can tell you. Yeah, I can tell. As always, you know, I constantly look for new things to use, to test out, to try, just for fun, okay? The eraser worked the best, the right eraser worked the best and the quickest. There's no disputing that, okay? But as you can tell from my various tips and trick video, you know, even a slice of bread will work. Okay? Even a slice of bread will work. Now, can you use it like this? Absolutely. Okay, I'll just show you one method of 
going one direction but now I'm switching it over to rubbing it back and forth for even faster result okay can you see the, the dirt transfer right there okay so th this is the other side the other corner from the top part of the cover and now you can see how the dirt has transferred into this it's looking good cleaner for sure but as you can see as I rub across the cover here I'm not really concerned at all about the black area I'm not worrying about you know the ink being lift off something that I would be much more concerned if I was using an eraser if I was using an eraser I would be very careful just go on the edges of the black line okay so let's see this is after just a few minutes you can see it's better right it's not it's still dirty here but you can see this is just for demonstration purposes okay I just want to show you real quick on how you know three minutes of s scrubbing have improved the area and transfer the dirt right there okay well right here that's it that's the, the the corner I use you can see the difference and the best part of course is the gloss okay nothing is damaged that's the best part about this sponge you can see nothing is damaged the gloss is still there no worry about losing any black ink okay so there you go another tool to use to clean okay right there you can see it's definitely improved I can certainly work on the rest of this cover okay so I turn off the camera and spent another five minutes cleaning this area of the cover so now let's show you the end result much cleaner right so my conclusion my conclusion to this product right here is that it's a great tool to use in addition to the eraser because as you can tell see the edge are very dirty right an eraser would be much quicker and more efficient to use to clean the white edges right there right but but when it come down to this portion of the cover okay where there's a lot of text and you don't want to damage or rub off any black uh, lettering then this is a great tool to use okay there you go. see that see how dirty the corner has become from just cleaning this area right here so it's an useful tool okay so you know if I was to clean a back cover like this no doubt I would use an eraser for the edges and then switch to something like this for the rest of the cover so that I don't damage the color or the black ink okay after I shut off the camera I decided why not let's see if I can clean the entire cover using this big sponge and um, I put a good 10 minute effort into it and let's take a look let's look take a look at the result but as you can see okay that spot too hard to get out with the sponge seems right here but overall as you can see not bad right not bad at all for the sponge okay and as you can see the gloss nothing wrong there okay that's the beauty of the sponge okay because um, I feel that uh, I can clean the back covers without really worrying about damaging the text area and overall I'm pretty happy with the result can this book be cleaner the answer is yes but do I care to clean it further 
Absolutely not. Cover, can this cover get any cleaner? The answer is yes. But will I do anything further with this back cover? Absolutely not. It's good enough for me. The big flaw, the big creases here is what's going to keep this book down, not the dirt, okay? I can't stress enough about, you know, a lot of people put way too much emphasis on cleaning the book when certain flaws are way more important as far as the grade of the book. And that's it for this tips and trick video. If you look for something to help you clean the book without damaging the text area, take a look at the sponge. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.